Okay, so welcome, and today I'm going to briefly, extremely briefly, look at the block modding, because, to be honest, you could spend a long time in here, and I'm not going to be showing you how to make a block from start to finish. That will be a different video for a different day. I simply want to show you where it is, and how you could start poking at it to see if you can get it working without breaking the game. Now, if I go into the modding menu, you'll notice what I've done here is I've clicked on the launcher, clicked start game, and we've gotten to what I'm going to call the second window of the launcher, okay? We click on modding and then block editor. Once it opens up, we will see we have all the different blocks here. Now, if I go into general element, you'll see there's all these different blocks, okay? And you can start clicking on these blocks and seeing all the information here. You can change the price. You can change it. You can change everything. Um, but the main thing is, of course, you can actually change the um, you can change the skin, the texture ID. Okay. You can change the name. You can change. You can use a different ID. So you could use a different uh, number that's way up in the range, something that hasn't been used yet. Of course, you've got to be careful that when the game updates come out, they don't use your block ID, which you or the block ID which you've chosen to use. And there are many things that you can actually do, as you can see, many things you can do here. I mean, if I'm just going to run through this, the options for a Plex door, and and hopefully your uh, mind should sort of start doors should start opening, as it were, if this is the sort of thing that you're going to want to be doing. Um, so. The block ID, obviously we know, 122. Two. That's used to uh, spawn in the item if you want to. The name is what's going to be shown in the list. Type is going to be that, that'll be the section it's under. Uh, the texture ID is 253. Now, I need to show you the texture ID. Can we click edit? Here we go. This is the texture set. Now, you can... Obviously, the uh, last one it said 253, right? So that means texture 253 is the Plex door texture. Okay, now let's just see now. I want to see if I can find it for you guys. Do, 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 no, 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 Plex door, no Plex door, no Plex door graphics on any of these. Well, anyway, I can <laughs> it should be here, but it's not. Ah, there it is. But it's sort of greyed out. I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, anyway, maybe the Plex store's a bad example. But the point is that you can create a new block. And then you can say, go, ah, T002, this one. And then you can go into this texture file and put your texture in. Which means that your block will then be in the game. Um, and it's, ev it's, quite, it's, not too, it's not too difficult to get uh, everyone on your server running... A modified block so this game has been designed with that in mind which is brilliant so in any case we're going to carry on down the uh, various options we've got here it's got build icon number how many sides the price or individual sides sorry I don't know I don't know what that is I've never played with that one the price which is self-explanatory the description which again is self-explanatory um, there we go the Cubitom recipe, mm, I've never looked at those. They weren't even in here last time I uh, last time I came into this menu. So the full name is shown in the shop. Control by, controlling. See a lot of this stuff. I I've got to admit I have not played with, which is why I said it's going to be brief. But as you can see, just looking at those. And I will be doing a proper guide on this. I just wanted to sh throw some light on it because people don't know about these things at all. You know, it's one thing not knowing how to use it. It's another thing not knowing how it, exi it, it even exists. Right. So anyway, I've done enough. I've done enough on this <laughs> because I'm going to be teaching myself a lot more about it soon. And then we're going to do a much more in-depth video uh, using some guides which I've already found in the forums by people who've been using this successfully on their public servers. So anyway, that's pretty much it for uh, custom blocks. I said it was complicated. It's very, it's almost verging on development. It's quite, there's a lot in there, but you want it to have all the options because 
the, the options were missing and it was like a noddy interface for idiots to use, they wouldn't be anywhere near the amount of control. Okay, and, and what you want is control so that people who do know what they're doing can do a bang up job for us. So, um, that's pretty much it for modify blocks. So, uh, just again, start game. It's on the second launcher window, you click modding, block editor. And then up will come this dialogue here. I mean, generally speaking, I've just, I, I haven't really been into these stuff. I, I try not to fiddle around with things that are already done. I generally have just done create new entry and then started to create a new block completely. That's, that's my experience with it so far because I've got a few ideas and I'd love to be able to make some uh, custom blocks. Anyway, so that's that. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Got another one coming along for you very soon. So thanks again.